All right, World 4, what do you have in store for us? Hopefully nothing too wild. <laughs> uh, do I try to pronounce it? De Anza Jig? No idea. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for it. First try every time. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, just, just gotta keep going. I didn't see that second spiny come on screen. So far, this one seems pretty chill, especially in comparison to the other levels we've played. Oh. Very, very tricky, but I see. I have to be so fast, <laughs> unless I want to do a mid-air key drop, which I don't really fancy. Oh, I just run off. That's it. Okay. Wait, this one's kind of nerve-wracking. You have to be speedy. Do I do? Okay, I actually do know what to do. I was just being a goofball, apparently. All right, guys. So I have made a shocking. Oh my god! All right, guys. So I have made a shocking revelation, and that is, I now know what Dion's a jig means. It's a song. It's a premise song. I'm sure a lot of you guys already knew that, but I didn't. That's pretty cool. I guess. Wait. Oh, man. Okay, that's... I have to slow down for that one. I thought I could just run off like the other ones, but, uh... I bonked. Okay, okay, we're making good progress. This looks good. No, I choked it! Ah! Uh, is that the end? That kind of feels like the end. Alright, let's get back to it. No! Ah, uh, that was closer. <laughs> All right, I have to do the good old one-two punch without messing up. All right, no problem. No! Okay, <laughs> that was even closer than last time. Oh my gosh. No! That is so tight! That's so tight! <laughs> what the heck, dude? Okay, I didn't need the cheese. Oh, I did not need to use the cheese. Basically, what I had in mind was I think you can pick up the P-switch, the floating P-switch, take it with you to the floating platform, and then drop it on the spikes to the right of it, and then jump on the P-switch from there. Then you're going to have so much more time to maneuver the end, but uh, we didn't need to do that. Hello, fellow Piranha Plant party member. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. That was actually kind of challenging. The timing was super tight on that one, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Now we're going to be doing some hamburger train. Uh, that's a... Uh... <laughs> That's speedy. Okay. So this is, uh... This seems really hard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. Uh... 
Wow. That is a tight jump right there. I have to be smoothing, dude. This one feels good. This. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my gosh. I thought level three was tough. Level four is no joke. Dude, that's the toughest jump so far, I think. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wait, we actually did it. <laughs> Thank you for the checkpoint. Thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, I'm really happy I did the second half of the red part on the first try because that was kind of gnarly. Oh, that jump is causing me some issues. I think it's like a last frame jump. All right. Doesn't this part doesn't seem as bad as the red. No, uh, that was it. <laughs> that was it. Okay, yeah, the blue is a lot easier than the red. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. I didn't think I was actually going to make that jump. <laughs> dang it. I, I, th I don't think I would have completed that cycle anyways. But dang, that's tough. Oh, that one felt good. Uh, where did I lose time? Oh my gosh, dude. We just keep getting closer and closer. Too much sauce on that one now. Too much sauce. No! Okay, that's okay. You know why? Because there's no other way to choke the ending. There's no other way. We have exhausted all possible chokes. So that means next time we get there, easy dub. Easy dub. There we go. And we are donezo. That level was very unique. It was very, very unique. I was not expecting to play a level like this when I started the Super World. Everyone ignored that world record time. Pay no attention to it. Super creative. Uh, it just makes me wonder what else does Isher would have in store for us, you know? All right. Off to the minigame we go, because we actually do need lives now. We are down bad. Too many puppies. Alright, what do we have? Oh. Wait. Why the lemmies? Why the lemmies? Why, why, the, why are the balls flying? <laughs> why are the balls flying? Okay, let's see if we can actually do this. I feel like things might actually get a little bit tricky. Wait. <laughs> Wait, this one's actually kind of nutty. <laughs> Wait, I have to be, like, focused for this one if I want to grind one-ups. Whoa. I mean, there we go. There were some one-ups. So how do I win? Am I going to get a star? I think so, right? That's the only way I can progress forward. Either like a star or a mushroom. As long as you focus up, using Lemmy's balls is actually a huge play. It helps you kind of stall out the Goombas and lets them spawn in so that you have a more concrete background. What the heck? Sure. We'll take it. Look at this. We are gaming and we're back at 99 lives. Back to 99. 
And I think that is how you properly use a mini game level in Super Isherwood World. Three second level, of course you can use the platform for cheese, but that's not fun. That's not fun. Unless you're getting this in like endless expert. You know, I guess it makes sense to like cheese the level if you're not doing a super world. So it is what it is. But in the context of a super world, it's super creative, super cool. The old diamondback sturgeon. Okay. Ah, yes, precision. Welcome back. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Uh, there is a lot going on. A checkpoint. Time to embarrass myself slightly. Because I'm going to get like a 30 minute time on this level. Assuming I can even get to the checkpoint. Well, actually, there's a bit of like irony, isn't there? I don't think irony is the word, but it's like... If this video goes up, and you guys are watching this video, then I that means I clear it at some point, right? <laughs> That's the way it works. Because it's like, it's I can't progress through the super world without beating this level, so... I don't know. What if I just rush it? That worked better. The saw hitboxes are always a tad bit weird, in my opinion. Okay. This one looks hard. All of this looks hard. Yeah, this this level is gonna take a long time. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. That doesn't mean the next part is gonna be any easier. This whole section looks Kind of miserable. What did I hit? I can't tell if I hit the plant, the spike, or something else. I'm so scared, guys. I've been hovering here for like 30 seconds. Ah, uh, not good enough. Not good enough. We're okay. That was progress. Nice. Okay. I definitely want to, like, follow it down. Wow, okay. I got, I got it, I got it. I want to follow it down and get pretty close to that piranha plant, actually. Okay. Alright. The first half isn't too bad, now that I know what to do. Yeah, look at that. Literally, as soon as it reaches the bottom of the window, that's when I drop. And I just have to trust it. I literally just have to trust it and prepare to react so I don't hit the piranha plant. No, that was it! Okay, I got the timing down. I got the timing down. Alright. Oh my gosh, we actually got the checkpoint. <laughs> Alright, be quiet, Draymond Green. Um, sorry, I'm listening to the Draymond Green podcast while I'm doing this. Um, this is terrifying. But we have a checkpoint now. <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. I mean, I think I know what to do. I just need to get in that bottom right corner. And not hit start over. Yeah, I figured that would be the hard part. I think I just need to relax and realize that I have a lot more breathing room than I think I do. Alright, very carefully. Okay. Hitboxes are weird, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to the thwomp and the saws, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm assuming that the thwomp is going to the right. That is my assumption. Oh, it's going down. 
Wait, if it goes down, that makes things a lot more difficult. Wait. Okay, there is a block that prevents the thwomp from going all the way down to the bottom. What did I just die from? That's my question. How am I gonna get down there? Is my question. Did I hit the saw or did I hit the thwomp? I think I hit the saw. No. Dang it, dude. That is a scary jump. Oh my gosh, we're actually in here. <laughs> we're actually in here. Now, how do I get out? <laughs> I want to see how high I jump. Okay, so it's going to be like two taps. Yeah, two taps. Oh! Okay, two taps early on, and then hug the left. Okay. Wow, okay. This is just as tough as the thwomp part, I feel. Okay, we're gonna do an experiment. How low can I go? We can go pretty low. Okay, I'm beneath the spike for sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, that one's gonna be tricky. What the heck, we actually got it? Okay. We're not out of the woods yet. We still have to escape with our lives. Which we were not able to do! No! Okay. Oh my god, okay, we actually have a key visible now. This is a landmark moment. Let's just get out of here. I held left, I held left! Dang it. Ah, oh, no shot, dude, no shot. I thought I was fine as soon as I got the keys, but getting the key out is just as challenging. I need to practice this bottom section now. I know how to get both coins. That's like not the issue anymore. Yeah, I just kind of have to fall into it. And then that's it. Okay. Yeah. I feel good about it, I guess. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> so just fall to the right and then we'll hopefully line it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we're free. We're free. Oh my god. <laughs> we're free. We're free. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We actually did it. We actually did it. Oh my goodness. 
let's go, let's, let's go, <laughs> let's freaking go, oh my, <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, give me the top, <laughs> oh wow, that took forever, that took literally forever, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm gonna show my world record time or I don't think I'm, I think I'm gonna censor out my time <laughs> It's not 99.99. I'll say that much. It's not 99.99. Oh my gosh. Get me out of here. <laughs> I Didn't think we would ever escape from that place. Oh Take me to the castle. I, I don't know how much more brutal this can get. Oh my gosh, give give me a give me a Kaizo, please. Give me a Kaizo. Give me give me something, dude. Give me <laughs> Okay. The toys go winding down. It it do be a Kaizo. Okay, I know what to do there. <laughs> that was some pretty good progress for some sight reading. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. I thought they were gonna be a little bit lower to the ground. Uh, I think I was supposed to pick that up. <laughs> I think I was supposed to pick up that spring. Nice. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't don't do that ever again. Uh is this a reclaimer? I think so. Uh what just happened to me? <laughs> what just actually happened to me? Oh. Oh, that's a shell jump. Okay, this next part's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the subworld is a lot shorter than the overworld, given the world record. Huh. Is... Okay. Okay, no, I get it. There's no ha huh here. Oh, no, I'm not confused. I'm not confused anymore. I got it. I got it. I am confused no more. It's another reclaimer. There we go. No problem. Okay. <laughs> this one didn't take too long. Um... So I, I don't know if the precision level was just kind of out of place or if I'm just that bad at precision. I'm thinking it's the latter. I really, really need to practice my precision. Yeah, this one took like five minutes, uh, including the like, including the first section. That was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, world four was brutal, or at least that precision level. And I just realized that I think I could have skipped it if I wanted to. But what's the fun in that, right? We're doing this 100 percent. We're fully committed. And just like that, we have reached World 5. <laughs> world 5. I, I have no expectations for this one. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how this world is going to treat us. But, I mean, what else is there to do except just get right into it? <laughs>